most people's concern, and I'm sure your, you shared, is about violent crime, sure. people dying of knife wounds, breasts of it, mm -hmm. appalling. Mm -hmm. um, so it just does seem that when people make it quite clear that they're not just going to be protesting, but they're actually going to be setting up shop all over the city. We had a run-through of it. I know you've answered my question mm -hmm. on that. We had a run-through mm -hmm. of it. It happened again, mm -hmm. shorter mm -hmm. time. Would you be quite prepared for it to happen again? Would you, if, if Extinction Rebellion came along in a couple of months and so we're going to do the same thing, what would your reaction be? So they will get, a, if they are to come, uh, they will get a very professional and proactive and positive response. Now, clearly, we have to act within the law. We have to use the powers that are given to us. Uh, and we have to be determined not to allow protracted, serious disruption of our city. And that, I think, is what we did achieve. However, this is large numbers of people, as you know, not posing a violent threat in the main, uh, some of them doing reckless and stupid things, but nevertheless, the vast majority simply uh, setting up shop, to, uh, really, as you say, on the street. We have to work within the law. That is why we are talking to the Home Office about whether there could be any other law that might assist us in our powers that would make us tactically faster uh, and able to uh, shift the disruptions or stop the disruptions uh, more effectively. Um, but if you look at the challenges that we were faced with, uh, I believe we were extremely effective. And we had colleagues from around the country coming down with our mutual aid. We had superintendents from around the country who are public order policing people, and they were astonished at what we achieved. Thank you for your answer. I'm very pleased that you're pleased. Um, I would say that for many Londoners, there was a sense of utter frustration at the way in which this was just simply allowed to pan out on two occasions. Um, all I would say is that next time uh, you say they're going to get a very positive response. Protest is obviously part <coughs> of our very culture. There are huge parks. Maybe people can protest in the usual way. What they can't have again is people being allowed to set up all over the city. It has a huge impact on people's livelihoods. It has a huge impact, obviously, on just getting around. There's a sense of utter frustration. Why is this being allowed to happen again, right in the centre of London? But I said my main concern really is about, actually is about violent crime. That, that it is, I thought, from your point of view, you have got to be absolutely giving total leadership on that front. And basically, this is a, a priority that is way down the list. Well, we have always policed a huge amount of protest in London. Uh, probably more than any other city, I suspect, in the world. I have very good commanders, I have very skilled people. We do do that. You'll be aware we had, as I said, the state opening of Parliament during that protest, and it went without a hitch, thanks to the good policing and the extraordinary amount of effort we had to put in. We then had a one million, perhaps, I don't know, number of people in the street on the Saturday afterwards, policed without a hitch. We police protest and we will do it as to the best of our ability always. Last weekend we had a very contentious protest involving Kashmiri uh, uh, protest which, where they, we imposed conditions and uh, they, they were not in, a, in the end able to assemble outside the High Commission. We are doing this kind of thing every other day of the week and we will continue to do it as best we possibly can but the particular challenges that are posed by people who are not violent but are engaging in what they regard as civil disobedience but does result in serious disruption is a very difficult challenge for any police service. Commissioner, I'm sorry, I just have, do have to put this point. You're talking about protests. It's all fine, of course. Protests are part of what we are. No one is suggesting otherwise and that you have to police those. But this was a case where people actually, their intention expressed was to stop certain parts of London. So, so I, I, I can see I'm not going to persuade you. I would love to talk to you about this more outside. I absolutely agree that when you look at um, the stated cases, you look at the European Court's stance on this, pro, pro expression, free expression or, or uh, freedom to uh, assemble, it all has to be reasonable and it has to not cause serious disruption. Don't forget we've arrested over 1,800 people for the, that offence and they will be, most of them charged, and they will go through the courts. So I, I don't want to allow people to think that we were anything other than very, very positive. Thank you, Commissioner.